Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Activities. And today's activity is going to be another magic trick. I found another one of these Easy Extreme Street Magic kits from our friends at Forum, and this is the Magic Coin Mystery Trick, where I'm going to be taking a sharpened pencil and placing it through a quarter using this mysterious box of mystery. Here we see on the back some more details about the trick. Again, the magician's code according to Forum. Uh, blah, blah, blah about the company. Uh, here's the choking hazard. Remember, everything's a choking hazard. Keep everything out of your mouth. And the promise of the trick instructions being inside. The uh, trick instructions are not in a hard to open tube. So I'm hoping that this is a little bit more of a self uh, describing tricks that I can actually succeed in doing it. That's more fun for me, believe it or not. And in order to do this trick, uh, I wanted to make sure I had all the props I might need, so I've got a piece of paper, a sharpened pencil, and I've got three quarters right here. So, let's get out the timer. <laughs> almost forgot the timer and I'll make my way to the work part of this uh, set and as soon as I've got the case open I'll start the timer and start trying to figure out the trick so let's go oh so how excited I was there for a second okay there we are got this open so let's start and we're off so, as we see here, there is actually the paper instructions. I'm going to put those off to the side, as I'm hopefully not going to need them. Now, here we have the ordinary hinged case in which we're going to be doing the trick. You can see here, what do we see here? Hmm. We're seeing a black piece of plastic right there in this middle hole. I think that has something to do with the trick. Okay. So, let us put some coins in these holes. And I'm going to put this black plastic half back on top of or portion where I, uh, over the coin, where it was. And then, like in the picture here, there's a piece of paper. I'm going to slide this piece of paper into this Oh, I see, so it'll be blocked. Now, all I gotta do is push this pencil uh, through this quarter, through that little Jewish star. Hmm. Okay, uh, I got 13 seconds to figure this out. I think the quarter has to somehow get to the sides or in or out or something. I'm not seeing a release mechanism. In fact, it's not even that easy to get out. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, and I oh, failed to figure it out. I think I spent too much time actually. Oh, anyway, I'm going to turn off the camera, read the instructions, and then present the trick and explain it to you. So stay right there. And now, as promised, the trick. I will take this ordinary box and place these three ordinary U.S. currency quarters straight into that box. Uh, heads up, tails up, does not matter. I'll then take this piece of paper, because it is magical, and then all i got to do is just grab these pencils over here, and just start... Ah, ah, poked it right through that. I got a, another pencil, gonna get this other one right there, because I'm just, oh, oh, I'm so mad at you for making me look bad. And this, this was a screwdriver through a quarter. That's right, that's not even on the package. A screwdriver through the quarter, and there it goes. Better not get my finger. Ha ah, ha ha, look at that. Pierced right through the back. Now pull them out. Pull it out again. Pull out the third one. And ladies and gentlemen, when you remove the paper, the coins are completely intact. How did I do the trick? Very simple. Remember that little plastic thing that I thought helped the coin? It had a tiny, teeny, itty bitty little thing on it. And that was a key to unlock a sliding mechanism. 
Once I had done that, this then had the ability to do that. Once it had the ability to do that, I think, comes am I doing it in the front of the camera? It had the ability to do that. Once it did, it obviously had the ability to take whatever through these holes. Very nice trick. Definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun to do. I'll probably be holding on to this one because it doesn't take up, up a lot of space. Uh, the trick was a little tricky. Uh, but fortunately, I made my way through these complicated uh, instructions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you really liked it, hit the share button, uh, the subscribe button. I'm just going to be doing more of these. Uh, as long as I keep making crap, I'll keep making videos that are also crap. Bye, it's Reverend Jay Goldstein. See you next time.